Hey, what's up? All right. So I am back and I am going to show off, I guess, the performance in um, big screen for this one. Yesterday I showed you how to set up the arcade machines uh, and I guess the other special items that they've added to the Oculus Dash beta. Again, this is how close you have to be for this one to be practical. But the arcade machines and the uh, big screen TV, not so much the wall mounted one, but this one over here, these are really good. Um, but the thing is, is that like, there's some games that you can play in here. Uh, they don't really look good on a TV. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to try to, let me see, I'm going to try to link my first desktop. So we'll go here. I'm going to broadcast that like I did yesterday. All right. So there's my desktop. And again, one of the issues is, um, I can't see my hands. That's going to be the first big problem. But I'm going to try to go ahead and load up uh, Dead Rising. Give me just a second. I'm picking Dead Rising because it's less intense than uh, these other games in this list are. Um, here we go. We're going to go and load this. All right. You can probably actually see it's already starting to kind of... I'm starting to get performance issues already. Uh, some of that's because the game is loading. Uh, sometimes it's just rendering 3D games in this doesn't tend to work out too well. Um, I guess it depends on your CPU, mostly. CPU and a video card. I'm using an i5. Uh, we'll go ahead and just leave the save real quick. I'm using an i5 uh, 4590 with the GTX 1060, the 6 gig model. And you can probably see, it's like the performance in the corners says it's probably running at 60 in my monitor. But in VR, it's not as smooth as it could be. So, um, this is this is all cool. I mostly use this uh, screen right here for just emulators and stuff like that. Just lower intensity stuff. Go ahead and... Oh, you know what? I didn't realize I hadn't played any of this mode. I think I made another save and just never actually loaded it. I'm going to try to get into the mall. This is actually going to be a little bit too early to show this off. Um, anyway, performance is... It's alright. It's doable. But like, if you notice when I turn my head, there's a lot of... Uh, I don't know if it's showing up in the video or not, but there is a lot of stutter... So that's what you have stuff like, this is cool for free, but that's why you have things like, um, go to stuff that's broadcast. You got big screen and you got Oculus desktop, so we'll go ahead, or virtual desktop. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to load up big screen right here, which is available for free. This program is really cool for social features. When it comes to gaming, it hasn't been the best for me, even with ROMs. It, kind of lags a bit but the thing that this has is again you can stream this your friends can kind of hop in and join you or you can just broadcast things and watch things with people really cool for social movies um oh boy it's loading up right now and the interface is different too um so i've got my two hands if you tap let's see i'm going to try to demonstrate this as good as I can. This monitor over here is not real. That shows up because of the Oculus. But uh, So you've got both hands. If you tap the, um, I want to say it's the B or the Y button. Let's see. Where is it? It's not pulling it up. No, of course not. Something might have changed. Anyway, that usually pulls up your pin. I'm not sure. There we go. Yeah, so it's the trigger. That pulls up your pen, and that's what you use to uh, move your mouse cursor around. The good thing about this is that you can actually see your cursor. You also can grab any of your screens. Uh, if, if you're a fan of 3D Prawn, there's almost always somebody doing something porn-related online. <laughs> but um, you got that. You've also got this thing right here. What you do to pull this up is you're going to go ahead and you're going to push it in your thumbstick, either hand. You got this tablet here. And this is uh, most of your controls. So, as you can see, I'm in the living room. I've got my monitors around me. I've got two monitors hooked up. Um, you can grab those. You can curve them. 
pull them towards you. You can actually make them bigger and stuff too if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and just leave this up here like this. Same with this one. You can just grab it for one you want to. There's my main screen back there. And of course, when you're in big screen, you want to use the big screen feature. So what you would do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab this thing here. And the way I usually do it is I want to say it's in the, right there, the display screen. This back here, you pick the screen that you want to display. So since I've got uh, Dead Rising is still running in the background, I'm going to go ahead and display monitor one on the big screen like that. And then what I usually do after that, I can go ahead and hide these other monitors so they're not in your way. Uh, we'll hide this, and I don't really need this. This means that the only screen that I can see now is my big screen. Hooray. All right. So I can minimize that. Just tap that button. A really hard time using that right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and load up the game. It's going to take a second. All right. So you want to make sure that you don't have your marker in your hands. So you're just going to tap that grip button because if you do, as you can see, it controls the camera, which is, that's no good. <laughs> that's going to give you all sorts of issues. But um, my favorite thing about this, aside from the social thing, is you can see the performance is actually already a bit better than the Oculus Home is, which means that that program is, uh, or this program isn't completely useless now. But I love the fact that you have like these cool environments, everything's 3D rendered. You've also got a ton of different tools. You can customize your avatar. It's gonna be under here, that's me. This actually isn't me. This avatar seems to change all the time. You can change your clothes. Let's see, let's grab. Yeah, so that's me now. You can take selfies. Uh, if you want to, you can actually take these selfies and then post them online or whatever you want to do. Put this thing on. All right. Um, and then you've got, uh, you've got different environments. So right here. Uh, depending on what you want to do. Some of these are going to be more intense than other ones, but I've found that uh, overall, if you're looking for gaming performance, virtual test stop blows this out of the water. Um, these right here, the 360 panoramas, it tells you right there, it's got the little leaf icon. These are going to be better for just overall gaming, so we'll go ahead and hit Andromeda. Um, minor issue is that when you do these right here, for whatever reason, I seem to be way too close to the screen every single time, and it makes some of them almost unusable. Um, you've got these TVs here. They categorize each thing as being um, as different types of uh, categories. Like, uh, you know, like you've got your nighttime, best for relaxing. You've got big rooms, best for large groups. So if you have, say, I don't know, 8 to 12 people, and you can run it, you could go to something like this right here, this giant cinema. As soon as it loads, and you can actually already see my performance is, uh, it's dropped a bit because the environment's larger and you've got these uh, fake 3D models around. You can turn some of this stuff off, but it's never gonna get much better than that, so. And this was one of my favorite places to play stuff, but it's just never worked good. Um, Grand theater, home theater is pretty cool. But yeah, again, my favorite set or my favorite thing about this is just like how cool it is just to have these rooms available to you. Um, it's a shame, at least for me, that the performance isn't great. I'm sure if I upgraded to an i7, then you know it kind of make it for some of that stuff. But can you remember how that works? All right, got that picture. Whatever that is. Yeah, so you end up mostly just using maybe the default living room, which I think is available daytime and nighttime. This works pretty good. And then the rest of them, the ones that you also end up using if you're playing games, are going to be um, stuff like Andromeda, all this stuff down here. Just because there's nothing, there's no 3D models running in the background. But, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much that. Um, it's a cool program. I know a lot of people talk a lot of trash right now about um, why would you get virtual desktop when you've got Oculus Dash and you've got um, this available for free. I just, I feel like virtual desktop, I feel like they all offer different things. If you're into the social VR experience, 
Um, I think big screen is amazing if you're into watching movies and stuff like that. If you want to play games, I think that you're going to pretty much... If you want to get the best performance, you want to definitely go ahead and invest in um, virtual desktop. Anyway, so that's going to be it for this video. Um, I will be back probably with the next one. All right. Peace.